Hi, welcome to Things to Consider. I'm Les from Next Floor Air Products. We manufacture specialized compressed air technology for blow off, cooling, drying, and moving. One of the things to consider, and it's quite often it's overlooked, and it's a real big advantage of compressed air use for blowing, is that when you're utilizing compressed air for doing a blow off or for drying, it does not produce heat. Now in some cases heat is, is desirable, but not in all applications. In some cases it can be quite detrimental. For example, I have in my hand an air amplifier. It takes a little bit of compressed air and it entrains air from the surrounding atmosphere, converting uh, a pressure from the compressed air that's normally lost as noise and pressure drop into useful flow, amplifying the airflow, saving a lot of energy, uh, in using compressed air, yet doing a very good job in blowing and drying and cleaning uh, a surface. So let's say you want to clean uh, or dry rather a uh, production of uh, packaged meat. You cannot use a fan, you cannot use a blower because in those situations you're going to generate heat. Compressed air is ideal in an application like that because you're not generating any heat that could cause uh, bacterial problems in the packaged meat. Another good application for blowing uh, would be if you have to actually uh, work in a very humid environment. What if you're producing something like flowers? Say flowers in a very humid environment, you want to package flowers. If you want to dry these flowers, if you use a fan or a blower, you're going to be doing this in a humid environment, you're still going to have wet flowers which again could rot the flowers in the packaging. By the time it's shipped, you're gonna have damage. If you've compressed air and put very dry air into the amplifier, blow this dried air onto the part, even with the amplified air mixed with the dried air from the compressed air, you're gonna have a, dehumidific a dehumidification effect on that product. And what about perhaps using compressed air for blowing off uh, LCD screens? For example, you want to get the humidity out of the LCD screens. Better to use compressed air. You can't use a blower air. You can't use the heat generated. You can't have the humidity. This will help dry if you use dry air blowing onto the LCD screens. So there's a lot of applications in blowing and drying where you do not want to have the heat. And that's a very real big advantage. Compressed air that is often overlooked.